In this video we want to talk about the Chaikin oscillator. It's the indicator here below the candle chart. You see that it is rapidly running between two extremes. It's trading on the chart right here. I will speed it up a little bit. This is the graphical representation of the automated trading system. I use the Forex trading framework. And in this video we are going to create an entry module that is able to trade the Chaikin oscillator automated. To do that, please click on the little button here. Now you should see the meta editor window. This is the Forex trading framework. And the framework basically is a collection of several functions that can manage the trades and it can also include any kind of entry. And this is the one we are going to create now. So please click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will have to call this one Check Entry Chaikin.mq5, Continue, Continue, and Finish. And now you can remove everything above the OnTick function and the two command lines here. And in the onTick function, we declare a string variable for the signal. That will be called signal and will not have any assigned value because we are going to calculate it later. The next thing we need to do is to create an array for several prices. That will be called my price array. We define the properties for the Chaikin Expert Advisor by using the built-in function iChaikin. That needs to have some parameters. The first one is for the symbol, that's the current chart. The second one is underscore period, that is for the period on that chart. We have values of 3, 10, mode EMA and volume tick here. So let's right click on the Chaikin oscillator, select properties, and you will see that it is calculated based on the tick volume. The fast moving average has a value of 3. The slow moving average has a value of 10. And the method is exponential. And that's exactly what we use here. Now, let's sort the prices in the array from the current candle downwards. That can be done by using array set as series for the price array. And with copy buffer, we fill our price array according to the Chaikin definition we have created here. We just have one line in MQL5 that's represented by buffer zero. The current candle is also zero. And we want to calculate three candles. That's the three here. And store the result in our price array. And now it's possible to get the value of the current candle. We will assign it to the variable called Chaikin value. And we get it by looking into the value for candle zero of our price array. We also want to calculate the value of the candle before. That's candle one. Because if candle one was above the dotted line here and candle zero is below the dotted line here, that would be a crossover. Here it is the other way around. Candle 1 was below the dotted line and candle 0 is above the dotted line. How do we do that in MQL5? Well, if the Chaikin value is above 0 and the previous Chaikin value is below 0, that would create a buy signal. So we assign the word buy to our signal. In the other case, if the zero line was crossed from above, the Chaikin value would now be below zero and the previous Chaikin value would be above zero. And in that case, we assign the word sell to our signal. In the last step, we need to return the signal to our main module by using the return function. In my case, the main module is the Forex Trading Framework. And within the onTick function of the main module, we call the check entry function of the entry module we just have created. 
Okay, please save the module. I need to recompile the framework here. That can be done by clicking on the compile button here or by pressing F7 on the keyboard. Oh, I have messed something up here. This needs to be a string function and it needs to have the name check entry because we are calling it here. So let's save this, recompile the main framework that worked. So now I can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader I click on view, strategy tester or press Ctrl and R. That should show the strategy tester panel here. Here I select my main module, that's the Forex Trading Framework from October 2017. I set the trading risk to 10 here, that's a high value, but I'm on a demo account. And I start a new test. And this is our expert advisor at work. And now you know how to create an expert advisor entry module for your own framework to trade the Chaikin oscillator.